Hello and welcome to the Quiver Channel. I'm Jason, your host. Hope you all having a splendiferous day. Today is a day of um, maintenance and cleaning up and bits and pieces. For example, I've just gone through my Discord and my apology if I've unfriended anybody who wanted to be my friends, but I've dropped my friends list from 255. Most of the people who had never actually talked to me to 64 64 people on discord who actually mean something to me who i've actually interacted with and so that's a good thing um i also reduced my server count from 20 which is a small amount of servers to a lot of people down to ten, which is the right kind of amount of um servers to able to be able to look over to my servers and see them all without having to scroll down. I can look at my Discord server on my second monitor here. And I can see all of the servers that I am a member of. I spend most of my time on my own server. On the other servers are there because I want notifications for some things that go on. But a lot of people, I would join their servers and I would like be, okay, why have I joined this server? I've never gone there. And then you just leave it there. Um, I've been cleaning out the servers. The I have a few different servers. The computer you can just see in the corner, part of the monitor turned on for it. That's the computer down there on the floor, not on the floor on the bottom of the desk over there. That's the one where I run game servers and my AI. At the moment, it's running AI. It's running a space engineer server that I've just put on it, and it's running. I'm just about to install my City of a Hero server on there that I like. Um, and then I'll probably put a Darkness Fall server on there as well. It can handle all of that. It's a pretty powerful PC. Um, been tweaking things around the house. And today, in about ooh, 45 minutes or less, I'm 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 looking out to my I'm looking at my monitors over here that show me the outside of the house and it has dried up. It's not raining at the moment and I need to check the weather. Because what I want to do is just go out into my front garden and do some maintenance on the Quingo. Give it a good clean um check underneath it, tighten all the bolts, check the Check the pressure in on all the wheels, the air pressure, the pressure on the wheels, and things like that. And generally, just give it a once over because I've heard a few squeaks here and there, and I think it's just, it just needs a little bit of maintenance. So, it's a I'm trying to focus myself enough to do all that. I've been up since five o'clock, which isn't bad for me. I didn't go to bed till one, so that's once again about four hours sleep. Um. I'm just trying to figure bits and pieces out. Trying to decide what life will bring and what I'm going to do with myself. There's a lot of adaptation at the moment. Precursor to someone coming and staying in the that I have to plan out, make sure everything's in place. Every day isn't always the same. But I'm doing okay. The doggies have been fed. I've had my huel. Um, I just refilled all the water. 
jugs in there that I have. Make sure the doggies have their stuff watered on. There's been a, one of those maintenance days where you just do bits and pieces of it and try to bring everything together. I was going to have a shower this morning, but I thought if I'm going to be out in the front yard sorting, messing with the bingo, and it's, I need to really wait until after I've done all that before I have a shower. I'm expecting, what am I expecting? Actually nothing, I don't think there's anything due from Amazon at the moment. I have, let's see, is there anything due today? Does not look like anything at all is due today. Found all my, I went through my board games that I've still got. Another thing I've lost, by a he who shall not be named um when i had to move house was most of my board games at the time it didn't bother me because i thought it's just me most board games you need at least two people but now there's going to be two people in the house what i found i still have chess i still have drafts and checkers. I still have my set of dominoes. Dominoes is an awesome game. I mean, people make it out to be an old person game, but it's actually a really good game for two people. And it's actually, it makes your brain, it's, it's a good strategic game when you're playing it. Um, I found my role play books for Cyberpunk that I still have. And so all that stuff's gone down onto the kitchen table because the kitchen table can be used as a kitchen table now. Um, got the, I've, I built the two chairs for the kitchen t yesterday morning. The only way I, reason I managed to do that was I was on Discord and talking with my friends and that at the same time, which gave me ability to actually focus. I When it comes to focusing on things i work best if i'm focusing on someone else not myself my own ability to focus is shot to fucking shit but if i can focus on someone else um delegate that focus to someone else even if they're having nothing to do with you and they don't even know that they're focused because i'm just chatting about a normal stuff to them they're in the in my sphere of influence which means i can focus on doing the things that i need to do and so yeah i managed to get them together and put them on mm -hmm. solid ones and i'm going to do one more chair because the third chair is just going to be a heavy duty fold-up chair and the reason for that is the table can have three seats in it but it's where it sits it's up against the um It's up against the freezer bridge. So if I put a chair on that side of it, it stops you opening the doors off far. So actually I'd prefer to have a foldable one that can just be laid down on the floor underneath or in the cupboard and pulled out when there's three people. Because normally there's only going to be two people here. It's a new thing, but yes, there's going to be two people here by the end of this month. And therefore... The, okay, the third one will only be used when Brit Monkey comes as well. So yeah. <sighs> Halloween. I love Halloween. I love Halloween. I love horror films. I love all that kind of stuff. It's all splendiferous to me. <laughs> um, what else is going on? Not much actually. I'm a bit frazzled. I'll probably take a nap after I've done the bits and pieces I wanted to do. So the plan, the plan as it stands is this. Upload this. Finish installing. Save on the computer over there. Go downstairs. The 
The sky seems actually kind of okay. I mean, there doesn't seem many clouds about. I'm going to just check MedCheck. MedCheck, MedCheck. MedCheck.com is a very good place to check the weather. MedCheck.com. Latest MedCheck weather for my area. Okay, so... Let's check the local radar animation. There's no rain above where I am at all. That's kind of cool. So it should be a good place, good time to do it. I've been wanting to do it for a while, but every time I've wanted to... Every time I've gone out into the front yard and I thought, I should do some maintenance on my Quimgo, I thought, no, I want to go out on my Quimgo. I don't want to get the tools out and I just want to go out. So this time I'm going to actually go out and do some more. I'll take some pictures of it. So yeah, I'm good. I'm alive. Hmm. Ooh. Now this is Jason for the Quebec Channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day.